What's going on troops? Welcome to the channel. Uh, I am of course Stevie the Military Biker. Today I've got one wicked, another wicked uh, bit of kit for you guys uh, from the one and only Rick Rack. Today I am going to be fitting, uh, I'm going to be removing actually should I say, my uh, Harley Davidson tank badges and I'm going to be fitting these bad boys from Rick Rack. Alright, so what are we going to need to do this job? It's a pretty simple job, let's be honest. Removing your tank badges um, is a pretty simple job. So what am I going to use today? Well, first and foremost, I'm going to need one of these bad boys, which is, of course, a heat gun. Alright, with a big long coil on it, so you know, you've got a bit of uh, stretch to the plug. Uh, you're going to be needing one of these, which is uh, basically a scraper, a plus a non sort of... Um, non-harsh scraper to get some of the goo off that's going to be left behind and of course uh, some goo gone or equivalent to goo gone um, and what else I'm going to be using today I'm going to be using a, uh, some painted decorators tape just to go around the outside or the outline of the actual tank badge itself to make sure um, before I take these off I'm going to put this on to make sure it is going to be central when I do uh, put these bad boys on so um, yeah as you can see they got sticky tape on the other side but we'll go through that in a minute anyway Let's get the, the heat gun out and we'll get cracking taking the tank badges off. All right then, so as you can see uh, on the side of my 21 Street Light Special, I have got the uh, original Harley Davidson uh, tank badges. All right, so uh, first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna get a nice little lint free cloth. Just give it a bit of clean around there. Uh, why you may ask? Well, because what I'm gonna do to ensure um, that I'm putting the new Rick Rack um, um, Harley Davidson emblems on the side there is I'm going to put some painters tape around this uh, and I'm going to mark up where the center points are of this um, so all we've got to do is heat it up, whiz it off, take the goo off uh, and then should in theory be able to put the new badges directly uh, where the old badges were. Okay, once you've marked it up uh, to the center points, as you can see there, I've done it. Uh, it is central, and what I've done, I've gone right the right the way to the edge of the tape, just in case when I put the new emblem on, it is a little bit bigger. Um, so that way, I can just adjust uh, the new tank badge to where it needs to be. Next thing you want to do, the heat gun, give it some heat uh, until it starts to come loose. It could take a little bit of time, um, and for me, it probably will take a little bit of time because it's currently minus ten in my garage. So yeah, anyway. Heat gun time. I'm not gonna lie, this will drive anybody to drink. It's an absolute nightmare to get off. So, drink. God, it's like kryptonite glue, man. It won't come off. So what I've done is I've goo gone it. I've goo gone the life out of it now. Left it for like maybe five minutes or so to see if it'll loosen up the uh, the fucking kryptonite glue. Anyway, I definitely need a beer because it's a nightmare. <sighs> Wow, that was absolute nails. Um, let me just focus in on me. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Um, that's probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour to get all the goo off. Um, top tip, uh, thanks to Marine Rider, WD-40. Absolutely gleaming. Obviously the goo gun, I don't think did anything really. Um, I did, I have chipped it a tiny, tiny smidge in there, which is, which is it's cool because the badge is going to go over it anyway. Um, but yeah, what an absolute nightmare. However, it's done now, so it's time to put these bad boys on. Well, on this side anyway. I'm not looking forward to the other side, so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, remove the sticky stuff on the back, uh, as you can see there, uh, and I'm going to line it up with my center points here. Um, and it's going to cover that little tiny dink there as well, so which is good. Um, so I'm going to do that now and stick it on. So as you can see, I've uh, stuck it on. I'll leave that on there for a couple of minutes. I've 
centralise that. Probably not use that one, probably use this one. And I'm just going to stick it down for a little minute. Probably a couple of minutes. He's nice and central. Hopefully, we'll find out in a minute. There we go, look at that. That looks really, really cool. Um, I love the fact that the, the Rick Rack ones have you know, the, the black with the, the sort of the red outline as well, which goes with the bike. Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's one side nipped, done and dusted. I, uh, I am clearly gonna give that a good polish. Oh joy, let's do the next side. Yay. Wow, now I'm not gonna lie, that was 10 times harder than I thought it was gonna be. Um, that probably took me about hour and a half, two hours to do that. Um, not because of you know the, the, the Rick Rack emblems and all that, but because of the goo underneath uh, from the actual original Harley Davidson gas tag emblems. Um, but as you can see, it's done, it's on, um, and it looks phenomenal. Check it out, man, it looks really good. Um, looks really good. Um, so yeah, I mean, that just adds, I mean, for me, it adds to the look of the bike. Absolutely, and I love the fact that the Rick Rack ones um, have, like I said, they've got, you know, the black with the red outline. Um, you can get other different colours, uh, but I obviously chose for the to keep him with the bike, you know, with the black and the red. Um, but yeah, man, I really like it. The red behind him is actually like a pearlescent red, um, so it actually goes <laughs> with with the uh, the ac the advert the accent on the Advan black Cobra seat, which is which is really awesome as well. I don't know if you can see it in there, but. Just about see the red pearlescent, as it were. Well, yeah, I'm super stoked with these, man. Obviously, you can get your, you know, you can get the cheap Chinese versions of these, or the cheap Pakistani versions, Indian versions. Um, but these are actually really, really top-notch kit, as most things are from Rick Rack. Clearly, um, you know me. I will tell you if it's crap. If it's, if it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. But these are not crap. They are really good, heavy, durable. Uh, and they look absolutely fantastic and obviously the range of colours um, obviously helps you guys choose uh, the look for your bike. So like I said, uh, you can get these direct from Rick Rack, however you cannot get them via the website uh, as it stands right now, All right, and they range from around about $115 to $160 depending on uh, what colour you want. Um, but if you do want a set of these, all right, you can get hold of them right now uh, if you call Rick Rack Direct or go to their Facebook page uh, and you'll see the number on there. But I will tell you the number right now. Uh, if you call uh, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, I would suggest uh, 704 251 7983. Uh, and you guys can speak direct to Rick Rack uh, and get these uh, from, from the guys over at Rick Rack. They are awesome. They are, you know, molded to your tank as well, so they're caved. They've got tons of stick on the back. Uh, they're not going to come off once you've got them on. Um, and they do do look really, really cool in my opinion. So if you'd have to set a new um, tank emblems for your bike, please go over to the Rick Rack uh, Facebook page. Check out the uh, the advertisement for these. Uh, and obviously get yourselves over to the Rick Rack's uh, phone line <laughs> and grab yourself a set uh, between 115 to 160 plus postage and packaging. So yeah, absolutely. I stand by these. I stand by everything that Rick Rack make. Um, absolutely fantastic at what they do. And this is outstanding. So like I said, I'll leave the uh, the link to their Facebook page up here uh, somewhere right now. Uh, and obviously you guys can go over there and check them out. Um, and if you don't know who Rick Rack are, then you've obviously been living under a rock, <laughs> clearly. You know, they make stuff they are bikers making stuff for bikers which is amazing if you did like the video please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel think about subscribing like it says down there it does help the channel grow clearly um, so like i said get yourselves up to rick rack get yourself some awesome gear uh, and i shall see you on the next video remember you'll never walk alone